Hi everybody, it's your old mate Nat Vegas here with another Pro Tools tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create fades in Pro Tools. Namely, how to create a fade out for your whole mix, and also how to create fades on individual tracks and waveforms. So we're going to jump straight into it here. We've got a session that I've been working on in Pro Tools 12, although these techniques I'm fairly sure work for uh, 11 and 10 as well. And you can see we've got quite a big multi-track here. We've got drums, um, guitars, keyboards, auxiliary tracks, the whole business. But right down at the bottom, which is where you normally put it, uh, is the master track. And that is the stereo master track where all the other tracks are summed to and you'll be exporting your song through this track. And you might notice here that I've got a little uh, locator, like a, a marker, where the song ends, that's always good. Uh, that I've actually made that one where I want the fade to end because we're going to try and make a fade out for this whole song. And on this master track, by default, you've only got this volume. Um, and you can see this line here uh, is the basically the volume automation line. So if I want to fade out this whole song at the very end, you can do it... Uh, one of two ways. You can hold your finger down on the command key for a Mac. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that will be on the PC. You might have to look that up. Um, and you'll see when I'm hovering over this line, when I hit command, it makes a little plus and a hand. You can actually just click on that line and it will create a little breakpoint, a little dot. So I'm just going to do a really simple fade. I'm going to create one, two, and then I'm going to grab this one and drag it down. And it's got a vocal finish to this song. And you can hear that that's fading out to silence. And sometimes a good technique when you're creating a fade out for a whole song is rather than a linear fade out, I'm going to add an extra break point at about the three quarter mark of this line and just pull that down so it fades out nice and slowly and then when it gets to a certain amplitude it sort of fades out fairly quickly a little bit quicker so we can do something like that um, actually that would be better so that's what I mean there you could fade it out uh, a bit slowly and then a quick drop off um, that is how you create a fade on the master track for the end of your song. And if you want to fade your song in, I mean, you don't normally do that, but you can just do the same thing. The other way to add breakpoints is just go all the way up here. See, I've got this multi tool selected, but you can select an individual tool. So when you've just got that hand by itself, you can actually click and create breakpoints. And then the way to get rid of a breakpoint is to hit the uh, option button. So command to add, and you'll see when I hold down the option button, there's a little minus. So that minus, and then if I click on it, it will remove that breakpoint. And there we go. Um, if you want to create a fade in or a fade out on an individual track, uh, the two most common ways are just to do it on the level of a clip. So when you have the multi-tool selected, so I'm going to go back up and I can hit this little band, smart tool, sorry. Um, then it selects all three at the same time. So when you're on the bottom half, it's a grab tool. When you're on the top half of a waveform or a clip, it's a selector tool. And then when you go to the edge, it turns into a trim tool to be able to trim the sides. And when you're in the multi tool, all you have to do is hover over the top right hand corner and you'll see that it becomes a little box with a fade symbol and you can actually create a fade on the clip itself. Um, and then that will fade out just that clip. So if that was, you know, a recording of a guitar and there was this, you know, horrible noise that you just wanted to sort of fade out before the end of the song, you can do it that way. Um, the other way you can create a fade 
is oh, one thing I might mention while we're doing this is that fade is actually going to snap to the grid if you have the grid on up here. See how I've got slip selected? If I had grid selected and I tried to create that fade, it would snap to whatever grid I had. So I can delete that. If I create that again, see how now it's snapping to the grid? And that grid uh, size is determined right here where it says grid. And at the moment I've got it set to one bar. So I can make that quarter notes into crotchets. And then my fade's gonna snap to quarter notes. Um, you can temporarily disable the grid by holding down the command key as you do that and it will stop snapping. And the other way to do it is hit this slip and then you'll have a smooth, it won't snap to the grid. The other way to do it, I'm just going to expand this track a little bit so we've got nice and big. And see where it says waveform? You can actually change that to volume. And then that will give you a volume auto automation line, exactly like we did the volume automation on the master track. So I'm going to hold down command. I'm going to create. So this is this is really, really handy um, if you wanted to, say, bring the strings out of a certain section. You can create like four breakpoints, one, two, three, four, and you can fade down and then fade back up again. So if you want the strings to be nice and loud, say in this part, you can just create as many breakpoints as you want and you can really zoom in for fine control uh, down the bottom left hand with this plus and minus with a plus. You can really do fine editing on your fades. Um, I use this volume automation a lot to edit my um, vocals and to, to edit out breath noises. If there was like a big breath noise right there, you can actually just sort of dip the volume temporarily. And you'll notice if I was to go over to the mixer view and have a look at these strings here. Um, so I'm going to go to window and go to mix. Um, and wherever our strings are, here we are right there. You'll watch, you can see that uh, fader is automatically going up and down depending on my break points because I've added volume automation there so that's kind of cool um, so that's how you create a fade with the volume automation and remember you can also hold down the option button to get rid of those break points and if you want to go back to the waveform view you just select waveform and then you can create fades at the end and you can also create fades at the start as well if you like um, I'm just going to go command Z and undo what I did see if I had a waveform here that had a start and a finish I could fade it in and fade it out so there's some very basic ways to create some fades uh, in Pro Tools uh, there is there's a lot more to fades there's cross fading um, there's all, all kinds of different shapes of fades you can create. Um, so make sure you check out my Pro Tools crash course, which I'm just currently building. And when that's finished, I'll pop that in the description, the link to that. And that will be a free one hour course teaching you everything you need to know about Pro Tools. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you uh, got something out of this tutorial and uh, we'll see you for the next one. Cheers.